Triton versus Hannah water testing. A D&D &D doser that needs calibrating. And you warned me about this. Yeah, the NEM is on the move. <laughs> All those titles. Oh, God. If you are a follower of Jay's Real Reef, you know that Chapter 2 is all about getting this Red Sea Max Nano stacked, stacked and stocked with the most beautiful corals. And you know I'm a massive lover of LPS corals. So I want the most stunning torches and hammers inside this Red Sea Max Nano. I've already started to stock it with some beautiful corals from Prestige Reef. And if you haven't seen those, go and check them out on a previous video called Ugly Stage 2. But one thing I've learned from reefing from you guys already is that we are not keepers of fish or corals we are keepers and managers of water and one thing that I've committed to doing this year is having a quarterly water test so every four months I'm gonna have a professional water test on my Red Sea Max now to see if the parameters are just right now I rely heavily on Hannah checkers for calcium alkalinity nitrate salinity phosphates and many other parameters but I wanted to make sure that everything was ticking over nicely before I start to put some more corals inside the tank so I've gone with and many of you will have used the same company that uses a uh, that's watching this channel the industry leaders which are Triton lab tests professional seawater analysis testing and they test over about 20 different parameters now I picked up this test from Charterhouse Aquatics really good company online uh, really prompt delivery and I paid just over 34 pounds for my Triton test that includes the equipment for the test and it also includes the postage and the uh, internet services to get your results back so what I'm gonna do now is show you how I set up my Triton test and got it sent off uh, to the lab to see how good the water is and I'm really interested to know how good my water is that's been running inside the Red Sea Max Nano for about four months already. Let's go and check it out. Right, let's take a closer look at the Triton Lab ICP test, professional seawater analysis. I went with this one uh, because I believe that they are the industry leaders in um, marine aquarium saltwater analysis. Um, so, gives you peace of mind helps you with dosing and how to dial in your dosing, looking for contamination, helping with uh, water changes or when you need to do your water change, looking at the quality of the salt mix that you're using and also this will tell me the quality of the water that I'm using from um, spotless water. Uh, so, and it tests for all of these elements. Wow, it's like a full periodic table on the back of there. There you go, there's it. There's your uh, chemistry quiz This uh, in this video. Who can name all of those elements? Anyway, uh, let's get let's get inside and let's have a little look what we've got. So we've got a testing bag, which can be sealed with uh, one, two. It's like a trip to the doctor's here. Uh, two vials up to fifteen mil with the bag. We've also got. What have we got here? How to submit your water sample uh, guidance online. So that tells me what I'm doing. That's the instructions. We don't need them. No, we do actually. <laughs> I've never done this before. As I say, I'm going to do these every quarter, so we do actually need them. I know I don't tend to look at the instructions until it goes wrong. But so first thing we need to do is register online, set up an account, take three lots of water samples, put the barcode onto the water samples and then okay that looks pretty straightforward what else we got in here what else have we got we are going to need well lots of it a printer i think uh we've got the uh postage label so it's going to moden down i think it's down south actually uh, that's just going to stick on there and that'll be our postage label have we got anything else no that is it so very simple that's what you get in the box so we're all uh, set up there with jay's real reef uk just dialed in the settings and i, I you can add details about dosing and filtration and things i've just said that standard filtration and, and then there's no dosing which which there isn't at the moment just water changes so what i've also noticed and i've just um got out the package is there is a barcode so what i've got to do next i think is 
click the plus sign here and then it says enter barcode so this will register the sample with with the um, with Triton so that's the okay let's see what happens now so I put my barcode in. so once we've got the barcode registered then we have to collect uh, the water samples which we're going to get out of the fish them out of the tank I don't know what the heck that is in there but hopefully I haven't got one of them in my tank <laughs> God knows what that is uh, yeah so we're going to get three there we're going to get so rinse the vials three times using the uh, aquarium water then fill both the vials with the sea water and then seal so we can do that anyway can't we so let's get let's get rock and rolling with that one so let's get the lid off here we go Put that down there for a minute and uh, let's get the vial so it doesn't say how far to fill it so I'm just going to fill it to the top to rinse it three times two and three the fish the fish think they're getting fed we'll do four for good luck okay so that's one of them done there go that one can go on hopefully that's a really good sample that I've given them there hopefully there's no problems in that if not we'll find out soon there we go and that is that's that sample taken barcodes in so the next thing is to uh, place the sample vials in the mailing box and then we'll get it posted out Whilst we're waiting for that Triton test results to come back, I want to give you a little update on the Red Sea Max Nano. So in my previous video, I put in some new corals from Prestige Reef. I put a brand new orange hammer coral, uh, which is down the left hand side. That is so puffed out and fluffed up at the moment. It's really loving it down there on the sand bed in the bottom left hand corner. My Recordia Green Mushroom is stunning and I, it came and it's now got two mouths on it already. So it's already starting to split up and I'm soon going to have two. Uh, green recordia mushrooms the orange bullseye mushroom as well is now spread out on the rocks and covering that area as well they are absolutely stunning prestige reef if you've not bought from him go and check out his website it's absolutely incredible i will put a link in the description below if you want to see the corals close up then join me for down the reef special midweek next week and don't forget to tune in to that and have a little look also from fraggle reef you know i got my duncan coral that was my water uh, parameter tester he's sitting down in the bottom left hand corner as well and the Duncan has got three heads on it now not just the two that I originally bought so things are going in the right direction the corals are looking really nice and vibrant and colorful and uh, yeah if the Duncan's out then everyone's happy apparently and my Duncan is fully out now the Jabo, the massacre killing machine that is the Jabo. I added that on my previous video because I was having a problem with diatoms and brown air algae. I can't even say that. Anyway, um, the diatoms are slowly dying back. I, they're not as strong as what they used to be, but I am running a lot of blue lights. But I am getting a bit more brown hair algae which is a bit annoying so if you've got any tips about how to get rid of brown hair algae I'd really like to know because the power head is not is not stripping it as, at the moment I haven't got loads but I've got little clumps and I keep trying to get them off uh, but if I, any tips for green no for brown hair algae I'd love to know uh, I would really like to know anyway the J Bow power head um, yeah it's it's good i think I, I bought the 10 which is a bit too powerful for this little red sea max now i've got two power heads inside there and it's quite a strong flow so the reason for telling you that is two things i've noticed my beautiful green torch coral which has now got five heads on it here it's not got the full polyp extension because it's getting absolutely battered by the jabo even though i've got it on the lowest possible setting the flow is still a bit too uh, hi, and another thing that's causing me an issue now, obviously you've seen in my previous video I got a beautiful stunning tricolored nem from Cellar Marine and I placed it 
as a bit of real estate right up here where you can see my mocha clowns tend to hang out and it was perfectly fine uh, for about six whole days now I know Joshua's aquarium I really appreciate your advice Josh he said don't feed the nem just don't feed it let it settle let it sit so I didn't feed it but decided on Friday night when I was sat here on Friday night chatting to a few friends it started to wander yeah and everybody gives you these horror stories of uh, you know don't let it sting your corals it's gonna kill your fish if you don't let it near your power heads and all that sort of stuff so I was really worried and uh, Friday night let's just say I, I um, got up twice in the night to check on the NEM it's like having a newborn baby not good not good um, but where is it now uh, it is it's right down in a cave now I don't know what the hell it's doing down there it's sat in the uh, kind of a love heart shaped cave at the bottom here it's avoiding the light as it were and it's also avoiding the flow and at the moment it's it, well, I can't see it which is a bit of a problem and it's never going to be able to host the NEMS whilst it's down there so I don't really know what to do at the moment it's not moved for a day or so now but it's it's kind of locked down in the cave uh, goodness knows I don't know but those shots that you saw on my previous video down on the reef those beautiful colors was when it was sat on the top I'm hoping it's gonna go and uh, wander around and find a new position pretty soon but the one thing uh, that's helped me with this by putting the NEM in I don't fasten any of my corals down apart from these zoas these are the only ones that are fastened down the rest of them I can move them out the way so whilst I watch the NEM do its little laps of the uh, tank I can move the corals out of the way so it doesn't sting them but that's a little update on the tank so far and the livestock but to see the livestock in more detail check out down the reef special in the midweek anyway let's go back to those try and lab results and see how that water is looking so the results come through digitally uh, through your login so here's my login Jay's real reef UK uh, and if you scroll down then to the uh, testing test tube click on the test tube and then I've got one ICP test result now I am a bit nervous because I haven't seen the, these results yet so if I just click on there see what happens here hopefully it's uh, downloading so it brings me to the dashboard uh, here and then I get my data okay so here is the data for uh, this is my Red Sea Max Nano so it starts off with unwanted heavy metals so uh, what have we got here we've got green 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 okay that's good okay all right everything is tracing zero on the heavy metals yes really happy with that right now I've got the macro elements so sodium is just within tolerance sodium is calcium is just outside for uh, 408 okay so that's slightly yellow on on the um, on the calcium magnesium is on point potassium's good uh, all green 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 uh, sulfur is good as well all sit there, there these this is so happy with that as I say this is a four month old aquarium lithium uh, is in green so is nickel and, uh, okay I groups manganese zinc I okay right so I iodine is on yellow this is a big problem because I know that's uh, important for corals iodine now I know uh, reef kings talked a lot about iodine and the benefits of dosing that but it takes a bit more of an experienced reefer so I need to look into that any guys and girls on here who have used iodine and dosed it let me know I'd love to know because that's something that I need to use now in this aquarium the uh, iron ferrous metals are all zero which is good uh, all green 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 uh, right okay uh, nothing from the BA group um, that's all healthy okay silicon silicon is still green but it's a little bit elevated there okay slightly higher silicon levels and uh, nutrient group we've got phosphorus and phosphates are low okay so that's interesting because my Hannah checker also said that my phosphates were at 0 0.15 uh, this is saying my uh, phosphates are at 0 0.01 which is really low bit of a difference there um, what is disappointing which I've just realized there's no nitrate uh, measurement which I was really interested to see what my nitrates were but I can't see the nitrate analysis but as a first go I'm really happy with that I'm really happy with that's the first water test of this tank so far uh, it does 
by the looks of it give you help and support and then dosing and things so if I look at help and support with this aquarium uh, calcium it's saying that I need to sort out my calcium levels uh, and check my calcium my Hannah calcium checker but overall that is the uh, Triton ICP test it does an in-depth analysis of all of those things and uh, calcium is what I need to sort out so let's crack on with sorting out the calcium problem I am absolutely delighted with those Triton water test parameters. As you know, I am a beginner reefer and I was really worried and nervous when I clicked that kind of mouse button, worried what it was going to say, but I'm really happy with how that's gone. I'm going to put that down to Spotless Water and also uh, Tropic Marin Pro Salt. I think that's really helped to dial in the parameters of the water that I'm using. but. I have more corals to come. I've got a beautiful, stunning Indu, 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 Indo, Indo gold torch coral and some more corals coming from Prestige Reef. So this tank is going to get more stocked with corals and they did say I have a calcium deficiency with my tank. Now, if you follow the channel, you know that I have a H2O dosing pump. Now, one of the lines has foundation alkalinity already running on the tank, and that's helped me with my pH, I believe, and also the health of the existing corals. But we're going to open up line number two, which is for calcium. So I've also purchased the Foundation A Calcium Plus, which goes with my Foundation A alkalinity. So we're going to get this baby in the tank. We're going to calibrate the, the line and uh, start dosing the calcium, which will help to elevate the levels. So we're down here in the reefing cupboard. As you can see, there's my doser. If you uh, want to know how to set up your H2O D&D uh, &D doser, then just check out the previous video on my channel and you can learn how to do that on there. So I'm gonna need the app open and this is my uh, TMC dosing containers. Alkalinity is already full. Then I've got the calcium and magnesium. So what we'll do first of all is just oh, slowly remove that little, a little bit there and we're going to get out the calcium and we're just going to pour that into the dosing container there we go that's just going to go into there this is the 500 ml bottle so on so on this oh for goodness sake just drop the little o-ring in there never mind uh, so for this tank this will last ooh, about 100 days at least so a long time in that sense so there it is there is the calcium in there so I'm just going to replace the lid what if I put that there we go pop the lid on so then I need to go to the app which is here now I've got these different coloured dosing lines which is really really helpful so that I know which line goes to which pump so I'm going to uh, dial in uh, let's go to channel which is channel 3 here uh, let's call that one this one is my calcium actually so channel 3 is the calcium which is the green one yeah so let's put that in done okay now it says here flow calibration I don't know if you can see that on here but it does say that on the app uh, sorry about it just the phone doesn't really pick it up so flow calibration and I can go on to uh, flow I want to do it on medium medium speed and add time yeah 10 seconds prime tube with liquid so that's what I need to do first so I'm gonna go back up to the dosing rack up here where I can see all my different dosing lines, all my different coloured dosing lines here. Now I'm using the blue one at the moment uh, for alkalinity and then I will be using the green one. So I'm going to hold up to this green one and I'm going to click prime uh, on the app. I'm going to click prime tube with liquid. So now I can hear it pulling through as soon as it starts to pull all the way through I can then click uh, stop on this and get rid of all the air bubbles and then I can click stop on. so we just hit stop on the app and that has primed the tube nicely and it's nice and full with no air bubbles so I don't want to waste this it's like gold this bloody stuff it costs so much this liquid uh, so I'm just going to put that back into the container and then we're going to finish off the calibration I can just go back in there 
not waste that. So we're going to put the test tube, this 10mm test tube just came with the D&D H2O doser. So the next thing we're going to do is making sure we're on medium flow, medium flow there. And we're going to do add start and what it'll do now is a 10 second period over adding that uh, fluid into there. Let's have a little look. There we go, so it starts dripping in. Green line because that's my calcium line and it's counting down 10 seconds on the app and there we go 10 seconds done and the next thing we're going to do is read off how much we've got in here so we've got four point we've got 5.2 so in 10 seconds it's entered 5.2 mil press the tick calibration calibration complete it's just and there we go calibration is complete so now what I need to do is make sure that it's back in its position I'm just going to remove the test tube I'm going to add that back to the rack in a second but I'm going to put the dosing rack back in its usual place my blue line is my alk and my green line is the calcium the rare uh, the orange line will be magnesium uh, very shortly and the red line is not planned for anything at the moment, but I've just got an additional line in case I need to dose. Maybe AB plus, I think, is probably what's going to go in there as a more permanent structure. So how do I know how much to dose of the foundation elements? So I'm using uh, reefapp.net, the dosing app. I've entered my tank size, 75 litres, calcium. I'm using the Red Sea liquid foundation, which is this one. That's what I'm using. So there's a really good online calculator. My current value, according to the Triton, is 408 ppm, and I'm aiming for a 450 target. So it's telling me to dose uh, 3.8 mil uh, per day, which is always... Uh, it always seems quite high. I'm gonna I'm gonna go under, so I'm gonna do uh, two mil per day. Just see where we are. Keep testing with my Hannah tester. Uh, but I'm gonna go for two mil a day and get that programmed in. So what I do then, just go back to my plan on here. So this is my uh, dosing plan when it uh, when it connects in. There we are. So there's my dosing plan. So if I click on calcium, I want it to dose at a medium rate uh, every day by days. And then I can edit how much I want it to do. So add, total add time in 24 hours, I want it to be 2 mil. There we go. And it can add it over uh, a period of, let's go for 8 doses, over a 24 hour period and it's going to do that on a daily basis so I've just click save saving the plant and that should take us back there to the dosing screen so there you go so it's set up a cycle every day it's going to do 2 mil it's going to put in 0 0.2 mil each of these time slots and that is job done calibration calcium's going in at a 2 mil per day over a day period and uh, super happy it's been a long update today, but hopefully you've enjoyed that. I've just dialed in the D&D H2O doser on the back of, and calibrated as well, on the back of the Triton test. They said I need some more calcium for my corals, and now I've got two mil of calcium each day going into the Red Sea Max Nano, and that's really gonna help with my new coral haul that's coming next week. Don't miss it, next weekend I have ordered some uh, corals from Coral Kingdom, some uh, torch corals, super excited for that, and some more corals from Prestige Reese Do. Prestige Reef, so don't miss that. That's all coming, and also a midweek update on Down on the Reef special. Lots to look forward to. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you've subscribed to Jay's Real Reef. I don't want you to miss out on any of the content. I'm going to do my special thanks. I want to do a special thanks to DC Reefing. Uh, he's watched the whole back catalogue of Jay's Real Reef UK. Sorry about that, mate. Is there nothing else on the TV or anything? <laughs> anyway, he's watched the whole back catalogue and he's also commented, so I really appreciate that. And I know many of you uh, have started your reefing journey in this lockdown, and this uh, next guy, Christian Corals, has started his uh, journey on YouTube. So check him out, Christian Corals on YouTube. Uh, he's got a brand new channel that you can go and watch and subscribe. Also, a close friend of mine in the reefing hobby, I've already got friends, I can't believe it, after this time, uh, is this chap, Moggs' Aquarium. 
they sent me a sticker. Uh, thank you, Mogsy. Uh, I love your sticker, and that's going to go in the reefing cupboard. Talking of stickers, actually, I've just joined Instagram, and stickers have gone wild on Instagram. Uh, yeah, so if you haven't checked out Jay's Real Reef UK, go on Instagram, give us a follow on Instagram, uh, and I'll definitely follow you all back. I also want to say a special thanks to this. You may have seen this in the background. Look at that. Jay's Real Reef Mug. Uh, this is from my good friend Rick. Honestly, an absolute gent. He's followed the channel since the start and he's got me a Jay's Real Reef. We all know that Yorkshire Tea is fueling the reefing hobby. And uh, next time I'm down the reef, I've got my brew. It's the first bit of merch as well. There you go, official merch. Rare Yorkshire Tea, Jay's Real Reef. Absolutely love that. Rick. You're a true gent. You're a true gent. Thank you so much for that. And there's so many great people in this hobby, and I just want to say a special thank you to everybody who's supported me through this journey uh, so far. I also want to just do a special mention to a chap called Adam Boyle. Uh, Adam Boyle's uh, email address is in the link below. Uh, we all know it's quite difficult times through coronavirus and uh, the pandemic, and unfortunately, Adam Boyle got halfway through his project of setting it up and he was made redundant from his work. He's managed to get a tank, an EA900, and he's got some rock, but he's also looking for anybody who can help him out with some second-hand kit, maybe a skimmer, uh, lighting, or a, a heat bar, because he's got, so far, his family are all behind it, his, his kids are uh, helping him do it, and he got halfway through his setup, and he's been made redundant. So if you can help out, Adam Boyle, I know there's a lot of good people in this hobby, click on his email address below, get in touch with him if you've got any second-hand lighting, skimmers or heat bars, he'd love to hear from you. So that's the end of today's update. As I say, don't miss the coral haul that's coming next Saturday. It's going to be a really big one. As I say, Kingdom Corals and Prestige Reef, they knock corals out of the park. So that's going to be a great video. Hope you're going to enjoy that. But for now, I'm going to wrap it up. You guys have been brilliant. Thank you for following. Give us a thumbs up. Give us a like. Make sure you comment. I'll try and get back to every single one of you. Have a lovely evening. You take care. Good to see you. Bye-bye.